guys, it's Tiffany. What is freaking up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is the first video I'm starting it where I'm actually in the hoarding room slash office. <gasps> so in today's video, we of course are gonna be decorating the office even more today. I'm gonna be building more IKEA furniture. We're just gonna be setting her up, making her ready for Callie. Today is Sunday. Callie has Monday off, so she's gonna be here on Tuesday. So I have roughly less than 48 hours to make this office look a lot better than it currently is right now. So if you guys haven't watched part one or part two of this series, make sure you guys go watch it. And without further ado, let's make this place from hoarder to order. Let's go. Woo. Okay, so I bought a ton of these drawers from Ikea. So today's plan is we're gonna make all of these. But first, before I can make these, I actually need to clean these drawers. This is the Calyx bookcase or Calyx cubicle. I'm not entirely sure what the name is. If you guys are curious and you guys wanna buy this for yourselves. I have had these in my garage for like the last year or so. So these babies just need to be clean. I just need to dust them and I'm trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. So I grabbed a towel. Normally I would just grab paper towels, but you guys called me out on it and you're right. I need to stop using so many paper towels. So we are gonna use this instead. There's literally cobwebs all over this bookcase. I should have cleaned it before putting it inside the house. Oh man, look at that. Oh man, look how dirty that is. That's kind of gross. So next step is I actually need to grab a knife and we're gonna cut these babies open. We're gonna grab the drill as well and we're gonna install everything. It's feeling very lightheaded from all that Lysol, but we're gonna grab a knife and I'll be right back. We're back with the goods. We got a drill bit, we got a knife, and we got scissors. to go I did that in 19 minutes pretty freaking proud of myself look how beautiful these are oh they kind of slam but that's okay that's why it's from Ikea they're cheap but they look very functional and nice all right guys the drawers are nice and done Okay, so I think the next thing I'm actually gonna work on is I actually do not want these Alex drawers inside of this office because it's just like not the vibe I'm going for anymore. This is very like 2012 YouTuber beauty guru type drawers. Literally every single beauty guru had this in 2012, like 2014. I just need to look through all of these drawers. Oh my God, look at all these photos. I was actually thinking of creating a photo wall right here. Not very grown up, me, but I've always wanted to do it and I just have so many beautiful memories with my friends like this is me and Lauren so freaking adorable all right so I bought a bunch of these baskets from Ikea and I'm just gonna put everything in here that I don't want in here in these little buckets and then I'm gonna leave it in the closet because I feel like I might need it at some point but as of right now I don't exactly need them like these airpod cases like this is a box for airpods I highly doubt I need this. So many cute pop sockets. Definitely gonna keep this. It is currently day four of me figuring out this entire hoarding room situation. So I didn't get a lot done last night because Matt had date plans for us last night. He made popcorn, we watched a scary movie. He also made us pumpkin bread. It was delicious. I really need to start getting this room together because Callie is gonna be here tomorrow and I really wanna surprise her with an office that's somewhat done. So I just need to sort everything out. The living room is a mess and I really wanna get everything in the living room back inside the office space. This is gonna be today's goal, is to get everything back inside the office. So I really need to start just organizing everything. Here it's been 
like a solid hour slash hour and a half and I have completely organized everything that was in these drawers and like all the electronics the only things I have not organized yet is all my makeup but I wanted to show you guys what I did so far because I'm actually pretty freaking proud of it we have a little bucket for all of my paint so I have a paint bucket I put all the paint brushes in here I also have some like wall paint as well then in this bucket we have all of my school supplies so washi tapes markers colored pencils scissors all that good stuff is in here and then in this little bucket I have all of my disposable cameras and my phone accessories so like all my pop sockets and then I have a bunch of film for my instax minis so anything that's on a DSLR or like a super expensive camera is in here then I have all of my important camera supplies and extra batteries and mics and stuff like that now these are the buckets that are actually gonna go inside of my closet in this room in this bucket we have art supplies slash DIY supplies in this bucket we have all of my tech accessories cameras that are super old phones that are super old and then in this little bucket this is all of my school supplies that I didn't want to keep out these are like extras things I actually want to give away then in this little bucket I have all of my photos and Polaroid so since I organized everything I get to finally take this guy out of the room I've been wanting to do this this entire time and it is finally time to do it I can't believe I'm finally taking this guy out. This has been a whole era for me because I've had this Alex 9 drawers for like five, six years now. Literally so many memories. I was so excited to buy this. I was so excited to keep my makeup in here and then I realized it was not big enough for all of my makeup. But she's gonna go in the garage and I feel like I might put it on like Craigslist or something. I changed the shorts because I was getting a little hot. Also, I put on earrings and changed my hair because I just wasn't feeling my look today. Right now, I'm gonna put away all of these little bins into my closet. I am getting so much stuff done today. I'm gonna put this on the very top drawer. Uh, luckily, they're not too heavy or I literally struggle. I feel like I should have put these away yet because what if I accidentally need to put more stuff in there, which will mean I have to bring it down and then bring it back up. You know what, I'm just gonna put it away because it's kind of in my way right now. Oh, man. Sweet, I got them all in. I got them all in. I do have another fourth one that looks exactly like this and I haven't decided what I'm gonna put in there yet so I only have three up. We are gonna start working on the fun part which is organizing everything in my makeup drawers into these little drawers. Okay, so here are all the makeup drawers that I actually need to organize and sort out but I just wanted to just show you guys. I think I'm gonna have to be downgrading. Like these drawers are pretty big and if you guys can see, I feel like I'm gonna have to downgrade everything because these are a lot more shallow. I don't know if you guys can tell they're not very high at all It's like literally four inches of space Maybe five inches of space if we just like make sure things don't fall out, but that is nothing that's nothing compared to like these things. These are like massive. I'm actually kind of excited because that means I have a bunch of stuff I can give to my sisters. I'm gonna see my sisters this week. So anything that doesn't fit in here, I'll just give to my sisters or I'll give it to Callie. I just realized I have 15 of these old drawers that I have in my hand and I only have 12 actual drawers, which means not only are the boxes smaller, I have to downgrade from 15 to 12. We have a lot of sorting to do today. Okay, these are all of them. They're all over the floor right now. I'm just gonna take a snack break because I'm feeling overwhelmed again. I think I feel this way like three times a day. Yes, these are my new favorite snacks. I've had like Four of these in the last seven days. These are so freaking good. Mm. Okay, back to work. I 
have completely organized three drawers, not very many. It's not looking too cute on the inside just because I want to double check that everything fits first before I actually organize, organize everything. But if you guys are wondering why I have these items out, I am actually going to make a little like cute little shelf that's going to have like all of my like prettiest slash like aesthetic looking pieces. This to me are like my more aesthetic pieces. Like I love the look of this palette so much, but I wanted to show you guys all the lipsticks and everything that I'm going to donate slash give to whoever wants this stuff. I did get rid of a bunch of stuff, which I'm actually pretty proud of. So far, three drawers down, nine more to go. All right, guys, it is significantly later in the night. It is currently 9 p.m. And I finally finished organizing all of the makeup things into my drawers. I have one cabinet open so I can... So I can add more stuff in here, but I wanted to show you everything that I did. In this first drawer, we have body supplies. So either perfumes, body creams, deodorants, things like that. In the drawer underneath that, we have all of my tools. So beauty blenders, makeup brushes, nail clippers, things like that. In here, you guys already saw this. This is all of my concealers and foundations. Then we have highlighters, bronzers, and blushes. In this next one, we just have primers, powders, and setting sprays. I probably can combine this with another drawer, like my foundation slash concealer drawer, but I haven't done that yet. These are all lip products down here. We got a little gremlin. What you doing, Grem? Then in here, we have makeup palettes and eyeshadow. So anything that goes on the lids is in here. And then underneath that, we have eyebrows, mascaras, false lashes, and eyeliners. Then we come to the fun stuff, because you guys know I love skincare. So I have four drawers dedicated to skincare. This is just any sort of essences or moisturizers, so anything that's hydrating. And then underneath here, we have eye serums, eye patches, and any sort of facial oil or serums. Then we have a beautiful mess of cleansers, face masks, then underneath here, we have anything that's SPF or acne related and toners. That is the last drawer. Then I have one cabinet filled with all of my hair products. So these are shampoos, conditioners, leave-in masks, sprays, oils, anything like that. I just realized I totally forgot to do a whole section. Oh my God, this is literally stuff I'm keeping. Ah! That is gonna be next. I actually need to go through all this stuff right here. I'm gonna have to sort through this right now because I don't want to leave it in here because if I leave it in here I just know I'm gonna have more things pile up and then nothing's ever gonna get done oh my god okay so I need to sort all this stuff out um but I wanted to show you guys all the stuff I got rid of um so these are gonna be all the items I give away slash donate slash give to people who want it but that makes me happy because this was in my permanent pile and the fact that I got rid of stuff in my permanent pile just makes me really happy midnight now i'm getting really tired the last thing i think i want to do before i go to bed i'm gonna chom chom the crap out of this pink couch i have a chom chom and if you guys have never gotten yourself a chom chom yet what are you doing if you guys have a cat or dog that sheds a lot you guys need this my chom chom is completely empty let me just show you guys she is empty so here is the freaking shark attack we have going on. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> so this is what my couch is supposed to look like and this is not what it looks like. Let me just show you guys. Whoa, do you guys see that beautiful line? All right, do you guys wanna see this? Oh man, look at all that hair. That is disgusting, Shark. Just highly suggest getting this. I'll link it down below for you guys if you guys are curious about it, but literally get one if you guys have a pet because it's crazy. Hey guys, it is the next morning now. My room is looking so freaking good, but I hope you guys enjoyed part three. Yes, there's gonna be a part four. I am so sorry. I cannot wait for you guys to see the end result. I freaking love my office so much. But yeah, that is it with today's video. If you guys made it to the end of the 
the video. Comment down below your favorite type of flowers. So my favorite type of flowers are orchids and lilies. Those are my two favorites and I wanna know what your favorite flowers are. So yeah, that's it with today's video and I'll see you guys next Friday for another Hashtag Tech Friday. I love you guys. Bye guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.